all back, it's Miffle Zine. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a swatching video, which I haven't done in ages. Like, I can't even think of the last time I did a lip swatching video. And we're doing this lip swatches of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Neutral or Medium Deep Neutral Palette. Not palette. Collection. Vault. Thing. The packaging on the outside here looks just like the... Sultry palette. I'm just looking that way, just to make sure I have everything in frame. This looks very much like sultry. It's got the hard glitter so it doesn't come off on your fingers. It's a really nice box. I'm probably going to keep it because you can take out the inside bit here. So where these are all sitting on. And then keep it as like a collector's box. I don't know what I put in here, but I'll probably keep it. These are all the shades that we're searching today. We're swatching 10 lips. I actually don't know what this is. I just never took it out. Uh, oh, it just has the weight and the ingredients for each of... For half. For half of the liquid like, lipsticks. Because there's no back. Interesting. Um, these are supposed to be long wearing, high pigment, matte lip. Um... So lightweight. Oh no, it does have all of them. Some of them just are multiple line items. Okay. Well, we'll get rid of that. I'm going to grab a mirror real quick and then we'll get into swatching. Which I think I'm going to keep you guys at a distance for today. I don't know. I've done one of these in a while, so bear with me. Alright, tiny mirror. Let's go darkest to lightest. No, we should do lightest to darkest. I think that's how this is set up. Going this direction to this way. I think this is the darker side. At least this one would make me believe that compared to this guy over here. So, there you go. That direction. So, this very first one here, I don't know if you can see it. There's like little swirls on the package, which is really cute. This is the shade Haze. Uh, Eight of these are new formulas by Anastasia, and two are not. I've never tried Anastasia Bar Hill liquid lipsticks before, so I don't know which ones are which, to be quite honest. I do know that each of these individually is $20, so it makes this vault $200 in value, and then I got it for $60 on their website, which is a really good deal. That makes um, each one of them six dollars. I think is how I did the math. I think that's how the math is correct. I'll put it on the screen. Here's Hayes. So that is what Hayes looks like on the lips. This one is really cute. I like it. I just realized I should not have put on foundation today because at least this foundation on because the second I cl clear off my lips, we're gonna have some problems. It's definitely creamy feeling for applying it, and it's got a flat paddle brush. Like, there's no curve on it. I hope you guys can see that. Which I do think is a l is interesting. I do like that. It's not the same as the Jeffree Star ones, which are probably my favorite at the moment, but I'm trying to wait to see how long it takes to dry. And then I'll do like speed through the other ones. I mean, it's just about dry, and these are supposed to be smudge proof. It's not coming off when I'm like tapping it like this. So, I think we're dry. So they dry pretty quick. I like it. I'm not going to let all the other ones dry, just that way I to make it easier for taking them off. Let me take this one off and we'll get to the next one. Alright, next up we have Ashton, which is this shade right here. There we go. 
Here's Ashen. It's not dried down, as I said, I'm not gonna let them dry. This one is really pretty. I might put this one back on in the very end, because it kind of matches what I have going on with my eyes. At least I think it does. So this one is a strong contender for what we'll put on in the very end. But let's move on to the next one. I think the lighting changed. <laughs> Alright, um, next one we have is Toast, which is this shade right here. Put descriptions up of each of the shades on the screen. What they should be according to Anastasia. <laughs> Alright, so here's Toast. Which also really goes with what I am wearing currently for makeup. So I got it. Alrighty. Next up we have Confused. Yes, yes lovely shade right here. This is really pretty. I'm really not sure what shade I want to wear now after this because my goodness this works really well with the eye look too. I actually really like this shade. This shade is really unique actually. I like it. Alright, next. Alright, so next we have this shade Cedar. Actually, I think it's supposed to be cider, not cedar. I mean, both are right, but I think they're going for cider. Just based off the way this looks. Because it looks less, less like wood and more like hot apple cider, you know? This shade's really pretty. I think we found my new favorite, guys. This one right here. That's probably going to be something to say about all these because these are the types of tones I go for all the time, which is why I went for them versus the light set, which, depending on how they wear, because I've yet to do a full wear day test of them, I might just get that one too, because it's also $60, but I think it's out of stock. I don't know, we'll just see. All right, let me go take this one off and we'll put it on the next shade. We are halfway through the collection at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Next up, we have Weekender. That was really pretty. I don't know if it with this eye look, but I do like this shade quite a bit. Let me go take this one off and we'll put the next one on. What am I doing in between these transitions? I don't know. I like this in. Blue pass! Alright, next up we have Stone, which would lead me to believe it is cool toned. Oh my goodness, yes. I found my grunge one. That's a fail for a swatch. <laughs> I mean, straight on, it doesn't look bad, but mmm. Go like that. What? <laughs> okay, but I like the shade. The shade's good. Okay. This is stone. It's cute. It's pretty. I like it. Three more to go. Alright, next we have Bittersweet. That kind of goes with my hair a little bit. I mean, not completely, because it's brown tone, but... I 
like it. I like all of these, let's be honest. There's two more and I have a feeling I'm going to like those too, so. Let's go on to those. My lips are so mad at me. Two more. This one is in between. Ooh, this one's pretty. Should I wear this one? I think I'm still going to wear cedar. This one is close second at this point. This one is feeling close second to me. I think we're going to wear cedar today because that one goes more at that top. It's pretty. Alright. Last one. Now my lips can get a break from all of the swatching. <laughs> Alright, final one is the shade Lava. I feel like it's going to be a dark brown. Alright, this is more of a milk chocolate. Not like a deep brown. At least that's what I'm seeing. It's still dark, but more of a chocolate brown, which I actually do really like. It's kind of hard to see myself because there's two mirrors. So I'm like, I can see eyes in one half and then lips in the other half. So I'm like, which one looks right? And then also it's just both lips. I'm like, can't see what it looks like compared to the rest of the face, you know? Okay, it's drying darker. I like that. I'm not leaving this one on. But... I can definitely see myself wearing this one with other looks. So, let me take this one off, put back on cedar, and then we will do our, my thoughts, wrapped up kind of a thing. Alright, that was all ten swatches of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Light, not light, medium to dark, medium to deep liquid lipstick set. Which I think is insanely pretty. And there's definitely a few new ones I can see myself wearing all the time out of this collection here. This box is massive. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might store a wig in here. Maybe not. I have a wig bag still. I don't know where I put in this, but I'm going to keep the box because it's really pretty. This is probably why I have way too many boxes. Anyways. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. If you did, give this video a big ol' pause up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.